Hello, and welcome to an IV demonstration using Newport Oriel Instruments PV product offerings. This video will walk through the steps of setting up a complete PVIV station and performing an IV measurement on a calibrated silicon reference cell. In this video, we will be using the Minisol LED Solar Simulator, model LSH7320, and the PVIV-1A kit. The steps shown in this video are also applicable to other solar simulator and PVIV kit models offered by Newport and documented in their respective user manuals. Before we begin the demonstration, it's important to follow the necessary safety precautions as outlined in the user manuals. Upon unpacking the mini sole and finding a suitable location to set up, it's recommended to secure the simulator to an optical breadboard or table. To accommodate this system, we recommend Newport Optical Breadboard Model SA2-18X24. The mini sole is straightforward to use. Simply plug in the provided power supply Dial in the desired irradiance level and press the output button. In order to verify the appropriate working distance to achieve the one sun irradiance, connect the 91150V silicon reference cell to its meter and adjust the simulator to the accurate height. Now we can turn on the reference cell meter to verify the one sun reading. We can use the laser pointer alignment feature. We start the setup of the PVIV kit by connecting the 1 ohm resistor box to the I.O. port on the back panel of the Keithley. This will reduce any oscillations in the IV scan. Take note of the polarity. The port labeled Output Enable is for shutter control of the simulator. The BNC end of cable 91530-1030 connects directly to the mini sole, which will turn on and off the LEDs. Last, the National Instruments GPIB to USB cable is secured to the GPIB port on the back panel with the USB end connected to the computer. Ensure that the GPIB side is securely seated to the port. Now we can replace the 91150V reference cell connections from its meter to the PVIV Keithley source meter. We use cable model 91150V-CBL provided with the cell.
It's critical to connect the cell to the meter in the four wire configuration. Without these sense connections made, we will receive erroneous results. That's all for the hardware setup. Now we turn our attention to the IV software provided with the PVIV 1A kit. Upon installing the PVIV software, which is compatible with Windows 10 operating systems, we enter a report ID and operator ID, as well as note that the Keithley is connected. In order to perform an IV measurement, we need to define the test parameters. Select the recipe button and create a new test method with the following values. These are the recommended settings for use with the 911-50V silicon reference cell. After exiting the recipe menu screen, we take the IV scan by simply pressing measure. This is a typical IV curve for our reference cell and can be compared with the results measured by the Newport PV lab and provided with the cell. The software also calculates important results such as short circuit current density, fill factor, and efficiency, and allows the user to save and export the collected data. As shown in this demonstration, measuring an IV curve using a Newport Oriel PVIV station is a straightforward process. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly at orielpv.service at newport.com or by calling the toll-free sales number 1-877-835-9622.